General George Patton called it the, the greatest battle implement ever devised. However, the M1 rifle had a design change to its gas operating system just 16 months before America's entry into World War II. This change, known as the gas trap version, would prove to be significant in the weapon's legendary battlefield performance. With the growing interest in the M1 rifle over the past 20 years, many firearms enthusiasts have questions about the early M1 rifles and how the weapon evolved. One of the biggest areas of interest is in identifying the gas trap version of the M1. The term gas trap is a nickname and does not appear in U.S. ordnance documentation. John Guerin's original design used a gas trapping system that was somewhat similar to those used by other early semi-auto rifles like the Bang and the Mondragon. This method trapped some gas in the space between the rifle's muzzle and a specially designed muzzle cap. The U.S. military identified the gas trap as a weak point and a new gas system was recommended. The new gas port system replaced the original design by using a 90-degree hole that was drilled near the rifle's muzzle, creating the piston-driving power but in a much more reliable way. Ordnance documents in later 1940 outlined the reasons for the M1's gas system upgrade and described the difference in the new gas port. According to author and researcher Bruce Canfield, around 48,100 gas trap M1 rifles were produced. Many of these rifles were issued and then later recalled for upgrades. Any remaining gas trap M1 rifles were ordered to be scrapped in 1947. Some U.S. troops in the Philippines were equipped with M1 rifles when the Japanese invaded in December 1941. Reports of their use in combat before the Japanese takeover were positive. Photos from 1941 show that some of these rifles were gas trap models. Other World War II photos show gas trap M1 rifles in use until late in the war in various combat zones. Some of these rifles made their way overseas long after they were supposed to have been upgraded, continuing to serve their country in a less than ideal state. Such are the peculiar details of the US logistics effort during World War II. According to Bruce Canfield, the current value of a gas trap M1 Garand in good condition is quite high. He mentioned that it is rare to find a legit gas trap M1 these days, and most of the ones for sale have incorrect or reproduction parts. A pristine early production rifle with a four-digit or lower serial number would cost at least $50,000. Even in lesser condition, a legit example would cost about $20,000. So, if you come across one, be prepared to pay a hefty price for it. 